What's up guys, Houndish here, and today Zer has returned to Destiny 2 for the weekend of the 18th of August, and he's up in the tree here on Nessus in Watcher's Grave in his normal spot, so pretty easy to find, and of course, it's the last Zer visit before we get a new season, not that that necessarily changes all that much, but for the inventory this week, we've got Darcy for the featured exotic weapon, a pretty fun one right there if you happen to have never used it, if you're perhaps a newer player, and then we've got the younger Hamkara Spine, total of 63 right there overall. Uh, the ACDO feedback fence for Titans though is a total of 65, mainly with recovery and strength. And then we've got Apotheosis Veil, vale, another total of 65 here. Pretty high recovery, and otherwise intellect is the second highest stat, so maybe some useful things for some folks to pick up, but nothing too crazy. And then we've got the Whispering Slab with Archer's Tempo and Swashbuckler, as well as Grid Skipper with Killing Wind Snapshot Sights. Then we've got Enigma's Draw with Grave Robber and Swashbuckler, the Tripwire Canary Bow, um, this time with perfect float and opening shot. And then the Ikelos Sniper here has no distractions and box breathe in. Plus there's the recurrent impact machine gun with firmly planted and headstone, which might be a little bit of fun. Then we've got the Norin Hunger here with autoloading holster and multi-kill clip. So give us your thoughts on those weapon rolls right there. But for the featured legendary armor, we've got the Tusked Allegiance set of gear, I believe from back in Season of the Chosen right here. No standout stats really for the Titans, but... Of course, if you need to pick this set up and add it to collections, you can visit on your relevant characters. But for the exotic weapons here, we've got Hawkmoon with Moving Target, and Deadman's Tail with 4th times the charm. And this should be the final time we see Deadman's Tail in his inventory, since it will become craftable, dropping from the exotic mission rotator next season. So, there we go, that does it for Zer inside of Destiny 2, guys. But if you're collecting in D1, he's got Celestial Nighthawk, as well as a Legacy Primary Engram, Purifier Robes, Armamentarium and Zalo Supercell, so if you are collecting in D1 still, you can hunt him down and grab any of those. But otherwise, that does it for Zer this week. So as always, I hope the video has been useful, and if it has, a rating below really helps us out on the channel. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.